Okay, guys, I'm gonna get straight into it. Uh, Steve's, Steve's kind of going downhill fast. And I ha actually have no idea why. What are you doing, Steve? I mean, now he's acting like he's cool, and I don't know. Here's what's happening, okay, guys? Here's Steve. He's chilling. And I'm kind of thinking he's sick. And here's why. One, he hasn't eaten. Two, he's being lazy, t lazy today, which I think is sick. He's just laying around, not moving at all. And then three, he's kind of slobbering, but he's not spitting up a lot. But it's weird slobber. It's not like normal slobber. As for you guys who know, the last Great Pyrenees I had, honestly, about two months ago, died from Parvo. Now, the weird thing about that dog was we actually gave it a Parvo shot about four days before, you know, we, uh... It died. But with the first dog, it missed its first one. Steve's different, bro. He's had both of them. Long story short, guys, we're taking Steve today to an emergency vet. It's actually a Sunday, so none of them's open, except one about two hours away. Come on, Chad, get out of the way. Kind of need you to move right now. We're putting him right into the kennel cab 101, and we're going to get you right down to Richmond, buddy. Come on, Steve. Go in the box. Go in the box. I don't think he understands English. The bad part about this is that uh, Steve's not been moving today, so I kind of manually have to just stick him in there. You're not a small dog, man. You gotta cooperate just a little bit. Go in the house. You hopefully won't regret it. Come on, man. Just just work with me a little bit. I'm trying to save your life, but you're not trying to save your own. Steve, bro, no, Steve. You're gonna have to go in the box, okay? I don't care if you want out or not. Sometimes you just gotta tell him how it is. Ain't that right, Chad? The more you resist, the bigger chance you're gonna die. Which, needless to say, there's a pretty good chance of that anyhow. Okay guys, here we are right now stacked up in the back of a Suburban, chilling with Steve, last few hours I guess. Hopefully not, but maybe, you never know. Steve's just uh, he's just in here chilling. He stinks, like usual. But uh, anyway Steve, can you tell us a little bit about what's happening here today? Good talk. Anyways, here's the game plan. I'm just back here kicking it with Steve, basically just chilling. Okay, so we've been here for like 20 minutes. We're at the place now. We called them and told them we was out here, but they said that all the all the people had critical patients right now. So basically, everybody's dog's dying tonight. I don't know what it is. There's like eight cars in the parking lot. It's about 11 o'clock. Steve's back here just chilling like a villain. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We're just waiting now. Hang in there, Steve. If you make it out, I'll give you a free hot dog. Hello. Yeah. So I'll need his bottom. His what? His butt. Okay. You wanna come out? Come here. Come here, Steve. You feel know, friendly. You don't feel good, huh? Come on, Steve. You wanna come out? It's hard to say. Our probably next bet will be blood work. Um, but we'll see what this says. And then it'll kind of be doctor discretion. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. Steve just got a stick stuck up his butt. Hello there. It is actually the next day. Well, I guess it's kind of the same day since we took Steve to the vet. And uh, right there at the end, I stopped filming because it started getting a little busy. Long story short, here's what happened. He tested negative for Parvo, which to me is the equivalent to a human testing negative to the coronavirus. But then they still something wrong. They checked it out. Guess what he had? Can you believe it? He had worms. Not that kind of worms, this kind of worms. And they are scary looking. Now just like parvovirus, worms could have been prevented for probably around $10. But I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I totally forgot worms was even a thing. I mean, I knew that worms were a thing, but I also kind of thought that a seven in one shot would at least do something for worms. Guess what? It didn't, okay? It, it did. Anyway, Steve's back at the homestead. He's just chilling. He don't know what's going on. He's drugged out. What you doing, Steve? Hey, Steve, what you doing? He still hasn't eat much, but you know, I think that's kind of just part of it. He's got the essential stuff. They pumped him full of protein. They also pumped money straight out of my bank account and a lot of it. By the way, if you want to help support Steve by supporting me, you can go ahead and buy some merch at kennelgrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description. Let me just tell you, it wasn't really cheap. It ended up being like $600. I don't know about you, but I only paid $200 for Steve himself. Steve, you better be nice to me. Do you hear me? 
think I'm gonna feed him some of this. It is a filet mignon flavored dog. Oh my goodness, dude. I kinda wanna eat this myself. But I think I'm gonna give it to him. He don't wanna eat anything. If he don't like to eat this, I don't know. Maybe he's just not wanting to live the high life, if you know what I mean. 69 cents a can. Can you believe that? What an outrage, Steve. You better protect my goats, buddy. Hobby do ba do ba do ba do boo. Mmm, yeah, man. Delicious. Oh my goodness. This looks disgusting. You can have it, Steve. I don't want it. Oh, gosh, dude. But, uh, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what Steve gets to look forward to. Looks like a hamburger from McDonald's, to be honest. All right, Steve. There's your food. If you want it, you can eat it. If you don't want it, I'll eat it later. Your choice. Okay, here for a second, me and Adam, we're actually gonna go one-on-one -on -one airsoft. We got these little 1911 pistols. They're fully automatic, too, so. I don't know, that should be cool. I don't know, just shoot at that tree or something. Oh, gosh. Shoot straight, don't it? Oh, that's good. Now flip the switch down. Now it's full auto. That's good, now save ammo. And then we both have one spare mag, so we have two mags total. This thing right here, I'll show you how to use it to reload a mag. There you go, that's how you reload it that way. Anyways guys, Adam's gonna go out there, I have the same gun he does. Hopefully we don't die. Only rule, don't shoot Chad. Okay guys, here's the game plan. Yeah, that's all I got. I mean, I guess the best thing we can do is just try to shoot him before he shoots us. I mean, it's a pretty simple game. Also, if you'd like to check out the, any of the face mask or like the hats and stuff, these two actually matches the tan. You can pick them up at slash shop or first link in the description. And also the KG pocket knives, they're back in stock. Just in case you didn't know. Ready? All right, go. Retreating, I'm retreating. My hop-up's not adjusted. If you play airsoft, you know what that means. Back, got smoked. All right, gotta change mags again. All we've got is 30 round mags, so we run out of ammo pretty quick. I've gotta get to a better position than this. I wanna try to ambush him. Oh. Gotta get out of here. Just a retreat. I gotta retreat big time. Oh no! As long as he didn't see me run back here, I think I can do all right. I got 40 shots left. Got him! Oh my gosh, that was so hard. We've been going for 18 minutes. Where did you come from? Did you run? Dude, I took off sprinting because I didn't have any ammo. I just started booking it. And we're back with Steve now. We are actually on his last dose of medicine. So it's been about a week since I last picked up the camera. Steve is alive. He's energetic. He's fine. He's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit too. Okay, here's the thing, guys. Obviously, I put him in the I put him in with the goat pen, which is in the electric fence. That's where I want him to stay. Steve don't really care what I think, okay? And the Steve, I like petting on you, but you, you, you gotta you gotta go, you gotta guard the goats, man. You can't be sitting out here guarding the Grand Dam. Ain't nobody want the Grand Dam as it is, buddy. Let's go. Come on. So what I've been having to do is every now and again pick him up, try to throw him back in, and hopefully he understands what he needs to say. But then again, he never understands it. And I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen right now. I'm gonna put him in there, and he'll stay there all day until night, whenever he knows I'm asleep, and then I just walk under. Let me uh, show y'all a pretty common procedure. Come on, Dave. Okay, using the bathroom. That's okay. I got time. Come on, David! 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 Mm. Mm. Get in the cage now. Stay in there. Maybe one day he'll figure it out. My boy's gotta learn how to stay inside of a fence and guard the goats. Cause if my boy don't stay inside and guard the goats, then nobody's gonna guard the goats. I mean, Chad sure ain't gonna guard the goats. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
I just want a hot dog. What are you doing, Chip? <laughs> Chip don't like me no more. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Maybe one day Steve's gonna be a A1 guard dog. Probably not, but maybe. This guy was snoring.